Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be unboxing the Series 5 Apple Watch. Let's get started. So what I have here today is the Series 5 Space Gray Aluminum 44 millimeter Apple Watch. So it's like the base model of the 44 millimeter size. I went with the forest green band and as you can see, the box does not have any plastic on it. That's Apple's fault because this was an absolute nightmare, but it's an Apple Watch. So we're gonna unbox this and see what it's all about. So if you purchased the Apple Watch last year, it's very similar, a nice clean look white box. You have the watch etched in at the top here. It's actually etched, it's not just written in. And that's really nice, what we would expect from Apple, especially with these unboxings. Nothing else around it on the back specifications. I just blocked out my serial numbers and things like that. Looks very similar to previous generation Apple Watches here. So we'll just pull the tabs and open this up again for the second time. So just like last year, very similar unboxing experience. So you get this really nice, I guess, you can do something with it. We'll put that aside for now. So up top, picture of the watch, it's actually embossed, so it's a little bit uh, above. I don't know if you can catch that on camera, but uh, it's a little bit thicker, so we'll just pull this off here. And we've got our band underneath. I was hoping this would match up nice with my midnight green Apple Watch, so hopefully it does. Kind of looks gray, but uh, we'll unbox that after. Let's just get into the actual watch here. So we'll peel back, open it up. So depending on which Apple Watch you decide to purchase, it's gonna come in this very nice microfiber kind of case. I mean, nothing to it. It's not like you're gonna tuck it in at night, but it's there. <laughs> Inside you have your manuals, quick start guides, pairing up with devices and things like that. If you've never used an Apple Watch, might be useful to you, but for the most part, nobody reads this stuff. Throw it away. You're gonna get your charger here. See how this looks. Let's destroy it. Let's just make a mess of this unboxing. Why not? All right, same old. You got your like magnetic charging adapter here, so it just magnets right on. See, it's holding on there. So very simple. And then you get your standard charging brick. It'll do the job. So as for my band that I picked up, and at the time, my goal was to match my iPhone 11. So I went with that color and I went with the midnight green iPhone 11 color. So it would have been perfect together. So let's open this up. There's a lot of detail in this unboxing. Like, I mean, look at this, just for a band. And not only that, they're giving you the small and large size bands. I mean, that's just a waste of money. They could have just said, pick your size, but they didn't, they give you both. That's a nice touch again. Anyway, we're gonna go with the large size band and it doesn't really match the color. Let me pull this out of the case here. We'll pull it out of the case. I'll show you here. I mean, it doesn't really match, but it kind of does. I mean, depending on the light, I guess. I tried, but anyway. So we've got the large band. We'll leave the smaller band inside. Now, unfortunately for me, last year, my Apple Watch, the fourth generation, broke right after the unboxing. The clamp right inside here where you would uh, put your strap actually sprung out and the springs fell out. It was a mess. So we'll just attach this up here. Should be pretty simple. Clicks right in. Let's hope the springs don't fly out like last time. And there we go. We've got our watch nice and set up. So that's the look I'm going for this year. Setting up the Apple Watch is very simple. You just open up the watch app on your iPhone and it'll guide you through the whole process. Once set up, the first thing you'll notice is the always on retina display. You can swipe left or right to choose the one you like best, or if you're looking for some of your old favorites, you can access and apply them right from your watch app on your iPhone. Now with this being the base model of the 44 millimeter series five Apple watch, you'll notice on the right side that my crown is a solid space gray color. If you purchase some of the higher priced models, you'll have a red ring around the crown. 
Also on the right is your side button or power button. On the left, you have your speakers. At the bottom, you're gonna notice it looks a lot like Iron Man, but this is actually where all your sensors, like your ECG electrode, your heart rate, and that's where it all takes place from the bottom here. You'll also notice two buttons. This is your release buttons, so you can remove your Apple Watch bands or switch them out. On the front, we have the base Ion X glass with retina display. This glass is gonna be a little softer and a little less durable than some of the higher end models, which come with the Sapphire crystal. However, you can purchase a very cheap screen protector to give it a little extra protection. I'll link them in the description box down below if you're interested. So a day later, I've already used the watch, taken it for a workout, used it for a full day, changed it up, customized it, connected it with my iPhone, and it's very simple. Now I'm gonna tell you if you're brand new to Apple devices or if you're not tech savvy, this watch seemed to be for me the hardest to learn out of all Apple devices, including the AirPods, iPad, Mac, everything. It just, it's different, it's small, you have to use your iPhone for some of the settings. So definitely stay tuned for the channel for many tutorials, as well as my full review. If you're looking to purchase the Apple Watch, I think the base model is the way to go, unless there's a specific reason why you want the more expensive ones. But uh, it works well, I mean, in terms of functionality, the base model does everything that the more expensive model does. It's all about the finishes, the coatings for the glass, the crystal glass and things like that. So for this band, I'm really happy with it so far, but like I said, in a few weeks I'll be posting my full review. I'll be going over everything that it can do and what I think of this watch. It's been a long time since I've used one of these, like fully all the way back to the first generation Apple Watch. So I'm excited, hope you guys are too. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. I'll do my best to help you out or answer your questions. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.